Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Chet Buchanan from 98.5 KLUC in Las Vegas. That means nothing to you, but I'm sucking up to these guys because one day we are going to all end up working for them. You're listening to the Hoppy and Super Rich Show. Ryan, you ready to go on an adventure? Woohoo! What's going on? Well, these are the 15 most thrilling theme park attractions in the world. Mm-hmm. Some What's places up? that me and Ryan would love to go. Oh, yeah, be on an adventure. Number one is Insanity in Las Vegas, Nevada. Insanity? Are you sure that's just not the drug of ecstasy? Yeah, are, are you sure that's not the city of Las Vegas? It's just plain insanity and going <laughs> broke. And uh, Insanity takes riders up the 1,149-foot stratosphere tower, extends them 40 feet away from the observation deck on a safe little platform and secured seats. Then it angles them at 70 degrees, so the riders are now facing down to really see the 900 feet drop below them. Dude, I'm afraid of heights, so I'm not like you where I love roller coasters. Like, obviously, if I have a chance to go... I don't like rides like this, where it... I I like actual roller coasters. Rides like this, where you're hanging off the top of a building, scared for your life, I would not... I I don't know if I'd do this one. I think I would, just to do it, but... Yeah. I get really dizzy easily, too. Oh, I'd be pretty scared. That that would definitely be scary. Mm Mm-hmm. Uh, number two is, and I don't know how to say this name, it's it, it's in Japan. It's called Ijin Naka Fujiku Highland in Fuji Yoshiyada, Japan. Of course Japan would have one of the best roller coasters say that five in the times fast. They're such a great engineers over there. They're so smart, they know how to get it done, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, this roller coaster is considered 4D, and if you have a weak stomach, perhaps you should do everyone a favor and sit this one out. Um, and uh, this uh, turn—it's uh, a high-speed ride that rotates 360 degrees in either direction. That's pretty cool. A typical roller coaster that reaches these speeds and the heights is dizzying enough, and add the extra dimensions of the seats, uh, and it's nothing short of terrifying. Uh, the ride reaches 78.3 miles an hour and heights of 400 and, uh, 200, not 400 feet, that, that would be extremely high. Uh, That'd be, that and scary. You know 249.3 I mean? feet, uh, and lasts for a little over two minutes, so check that out if you're ever That would Japan. be the longest two minutes of your life, man. You'd be I like, know. holy crap. <laughs> Number three, Expedition G-Force in Holiday Park Hoblock in oh my Rhineland God. Palatinate, Germany. Palatine? Palatine. <laughs> Palatinate. It's over there in Germany. Palatine, right by the library. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's really funny though. It says G Force. My uncle, after every ride. Now I love my uncle Kenny. He's the best. The best vacations. He lives in Los Angeles. He's a badass. He's an architect. But that was his go-to term when we're at Disneyland. He would go, man, the G-Force on that was overpowering, man. And didn't have what to... ride in Disneyland has G-Forces that are overpowering? I'm not sure. Maybe it was at, like, um... Space Mountain maybe I'm trying would be to remember. the only one I could think of. It's just when you said the word G-Force, I yeah. thought of my uncle. Yeah. He would just be like, the G-Force on that could have been better. That G-Force was good. The one ride that has extremely awesome G-Force is uh, Mission to Mars, which is at Disney World, which I've only been to once. But Never yeah. been to Florida. Uh, yeah. It's, I mean, it's it's just awesome because you have an option to do a extreme ride with the G-Forces or, or a mm-hmm. classic ride. So, of course, we did the extreme ride. And, I mean, it... It, it, like, literally pushes your cheeks back, and it's just, it, it's a pretty cool feeling. Did any of your teeth fall out, or what? No. Thank no, God. My teeth fell out, luckily. <laughs> uh, number four is Colossus in Thorpe Park Chester Tea in Surrey, UK. This is in, in the United Kingdom. So check that one out. I'm, I'm just going to read the, uh, if there's anything cool. Um, well, just go through some of the other ones and describe Yeah, them. yeah, yeah. Well, Superman, but that's in New England. Yeah, Not this the is the Superman New England. This is a lot taller uh, than the one at Six Flags Great America. Uh, Superman Ride of Steel in Six Flags New England in Agawam, Massachusetts. Yeah, what's up with that? What does it say? Uh, it reaches heights of 208 feet and drops down 221 feet. That's a lot. Uh, by going through two underground tunnels, it goes as fast as 77 miles an hour. Uh, and lasts for two and a half minutes. So that's actually a pretty decent long ride. Because I know the the uh, Superman ride at Six Flags Great America is extremely short, and it has extremely oh my God. long lines. And you wait in line for so long around all these sweaty yeah. rednecks from Wisconsin, and you go on, <laughs> and you're like, that's all I that's waited true. for? That's true. Yeah. The, the best ride at Six Flags Great America is Raging Bull. I think we all... 
can agree on that. I, yeah, yeah, I, I yeah. don't know about you, but yeah. Raging Bull is definitely the best. Batman's good, uh, although Batman has a pretty no, long No, Batman line. gets me sick. Yeah, well, I can see why it gets you sick. Um, I'm a pussy. I get right, sick right. easily. Uh, you know, I'll admit that right now. You know, uh, they made X Flight a couple years ago. X Flight was kind of a disappointment. I've in never my been opinion. on it. Yeah, what do you it's think? Kind of a disappointment in my opinion. Yeah, what, I'm kind of a roller coaster buff. Like I sort of know things. Hell like yeah! That, but yeah. Um, what's so disappointing about that ride? Like, what doesn't do well with it? Um, you know, it's it's just sort of a classic roller coaster. Uh, it's good length. It's a long ride. Yeah. But um, you know. Y- uh, you're sort of strapped in kind of tight, and it's, you're supposed to have the feeling that, that you're sort of flying, sort of like Superman, but you're not laying on your stomach. You're uh, just sort of in the seat. I, I didn't really, you know, I, I just thought it wasn't worth the wait, mm-hmm. sort of, uh, for that, where I could have been on Raging Bull twice in, in that time, you know? Um, What do you think of the water park there, Hurricane Harbor? Hurricane Harbor's cool. Um, yeah. I've, I've only been there a couple times. I, I've been to the park more than, than, than Hurricane Harbor, but, you know, it's, you know, it's all right. Uh, it's water like, parks aren't yeah. necessarily my thing. I'm more of a oh, I love water parks. I, I, I'm more of the the theme park uh, roller coaster oh, type of guy. But I mean, I've been to Hurricane Harbor a couple times. I love like, water parks. Good. Like when you go to like Wisconsin Dells, um, what do you call it? Um, Noah's Ark. I love Noah's Ark. That's my favorite place. Yeah, I, I, I've never actually been to the Wisconsin Dells. But... You get all wet. And yeah. no, I'm not talking about a porno. <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, I, I mean, it's pretty cool. Number six is Spin Dizzy in Diggerland. <laughs> God, that um, can get confused with a bad word. Diggerland, Kent, <laughs> UK. <laughs> yeah, make sure that's not in the South. <laughs> I know, I know. Uh, yeah, thank God that that's not in America. Um, <laughs> like Alabama. Yeah. Uh, and and this is pretty cool because it looks like the ride is sort of taken off of a tractor. There, There's like a, uh, I forget what you call those, like like a caterpillar thing. You know, it's one of those construction things. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's got like the crane on the side, but it's actually a ride that sort of spins you around and everything. This That's ride turns cool. me off when the name is Spin Dizzy. No, thank you. I'm a pussy. I'm take a ride on the Spin Dizzy. <laughs> I'm Britain, right? Yeah, yeah that, that was in the, the UK. So yeah, uh, number seven, Wild George Swing, uh, in Orabi Gorge Nature Reserve in South Africa. Uh, this isn't as much of a roller coaster ride as, as it is just like a giant zip line over some mountains, which I'd be scared to death of doing. Uh, number eight on the list, nothing but net in zero gravity thrill in Dallas, Texas. I've heard about this one. What does it say though? Uh, it says uh, uh, it uh, lifts people up 16 stories into the air. That is 130 feet. And then they are simply dropped. That is right, dropped. No bungee, no parachute, just free fall for 16 stories. The landing is two stunt quality nets to ensure safety. So you're pretty much just free falling. But you f- free fall into nets. I-, I don't know if I'd do that one either. I'd be kind of scared of that, I think. I'm just scared of heights, man. Like, I don't even survive at the top of the Sears Tower. I get scared there. I'm just a douchebag, oh, man. Yeah, I don't get scared at the top of the Sears Tower. But, like, for instance, if I'm climbing a ladder... Sometimes I get pretty scared, like, if you're, like, all the way, like, at the top of the of the ladder and stuff. Oh, my God, and you're waiting to go on, and there's some fat guy next to you who's, yeah. like, almost squishing you. You're looking over, and you're like, there's all the trees, and if this fat guy pushes me over, <laughs> yeah, that's it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you just have that thought. Like, right. you're like, can I just get this ride over with? Like, you're more scared of being on the stairs than you are going on the ride. Right. right? Yeah. Because you don't want to fall over because these people are in oh, the I, I know what you mean. I drove all the way to Illinois to go on Superman. <laughs> I'm going to fly like him and push this guy with me. Like, you don't know if these people are crazy. Uh, This one I've always wanted to go on. King Daka in Jackson, New Jersey. I mean, th- th- this is awesome. Um, It brings you up a height of 456 feet and then rapidly drops you back down all in under one minute. That would be in New Jersey. Where else would it be? <laughs> Riders lose control of their, facial, of their facial muscles due to the fact that it reaches 128 miles an hour in just mm-hmm. under four seconds. So that's pretty awesome. If you want to call the show, maybe you've been on one of these roller coasters like Spin Dizzy or the Superman in New England. Call us, 847-866-WNUR. That's 847-866-9687 if you want to get on the Hoppy and Super Rich Show. Yep. All right, are there any other roller coasters to check out? Uh, real quick, there's Top Thrill Dragster, which I've seen on TV a lot, and that's at Cedar <laughs> Point in good old Sandusky, Ohio. <laughs> Not to get confused with Jerry. But, um, yeah, 
This one is uh, 400 feet or more, and it completes a full circuit. You go up, and I've heard sometimes when you're at the top, sometimes you get a backdrop Mm because sometimes the coaster's not able to make it all the way up. And it's completely safe and normal, but sometimes you'll reach the top up here, Ryan, if you can look at the screen. Yeah. And it'll drop you back down because you don't have enough. Yeah, uh, I'm not going to Because you don't have Ryan. enough force to go back up. That would be really scary, but really awesome. And you go all the way up and then all the way down. It's only about a 30 second ride, but it, it, it's, it's really cool. And my favorite ride is the Vortex at the uh, Noah's Ark in. Um, Wisconsin Dells. I just like water rides in general. My favorite is the um, Lazy Lake or the um, Lazy River when you just lay in the uh, floats and you yeah, yeah, get yeah, a yeah. tan. Yeah, those are nice. I'm not really into these amusement parks. My type of thing is, please, if there's any bookers out there, if there's anybody who can give me a, fl- a free vacation to Hawaii, Mexico, the good part, California, anything. Good I really, there isn't that much. <laughs> I really want to go to a beach. I don't need to go to a roller coaster, none of this. I just want to go on a beach and lay. Right. Like, that's my vacation is just laying, sitting on the sun, getting good food, having a fun time partying. None of this getting dizzy. I just want to relax, man. Yeah. We've been doing so much lately with radio going to pointless school for 16000 I just want to lay on a beach and relax and see the waves go on my feet. Yeah. I haven't done it in five years, and I want to do it here in Chicago, but this goddamn weather. One day it's 73 and it's nice out, but it's partly sunny. Then yeah. it rains. The next day it's 40 out and it snows. Get it, get it together, Mother Nature, you dumb whore. I want to relax. My family might be going on vacation in July sometime, and we're hopefully going to Florida. I'm not even sure if this is all true, but supposedly we're supposed to go to Florida, go to Universal Studios for two days. Lucky you. And then go to, uh, uh, I, I can't think, it's, it's some sort of island that my mom went to when she was little and she liked it, and we might be going back. Sanibel Island, it's off the coast of, it's off the coast of Florida, all near, right. near Tampa Bay-ish area, maybe a little south of that, but yeah. That should be fun. Up the Hoppy and Super Rich Show. What's coming up? Uh, we got a 31-year-old sophomore at an East Texas high school who was arrested. This would happen in Texas. Give us a quick hint. What type of crime was she arrested for? Uh, you know, I'm going to read it first and then tell you because I haven't found out yet. Sounds good. <laughs> and I actually know what this is about. And once you say it, it'll ruin the whole thing. And Radio 101 is you want to tease the audience. Yeah. We tease we'll be- and please. Mm-hmm. That's what the ladies do to me all the time. <laughs> Mostly just tease. Mm-hmm. The Hoppy and Super Red Show. I got a sick reputation for handling broad.